In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying algebraic expressions using an important property called the distributive property. To set it up, let's consider the expression 3 times 2b plus 4c in parentheses. Multiplying by 3 means we're adding this thing 3 times over and over again. In other words, we have 2b plus 4c once, added to 2b plus 4c twice, added to 2b plus 4c three times. We've added it three times. That's what multiplying by 3 means. Well, we know we can combine like terms. And notice the 2b is like the 2b is like the 2b, and if we add those together, we get a total of 6b's. Similarly, we can add 4c plus 4c plus 4c, which gives us a total of 12c's for our final solution. What's interesting about that, though, is we know we have 3 of these 2b's. We can do that repeated addition or multiplication in one step, 3 times 2 to give us the 6b, and the 3 times 4c, to give us the 12c, because 3 times 4 is 12. This suggests the distributive property. And what the distributive property says is if we have a number in front of a parentheses, we can take that number and multiply it by each term inside the parentheses. a times b is ab, and a times c gives us plus ac. And this is considered more simplified because it gets rid of those parentheses. Quite often, those parentheses are going to get in the way of our attempts to do things, and so we'll want to get rid of them by distributing or multiplying that front number through the parentheses. Let's take a look at some examples. In this problem, we have a 3 in front of the parentheses. So we'll start distributing or multiplying through. 3 times 2x squared, well, 3 times 2 gives us 6 of these x squareds. Continuing to distribute, we do 3 times the negative 6x. 3 times negative 6 gives us negative 18 of these x's. And 3 times 7 gives us positive 21, and this becomes our final solution. We can't combine these terms together because they are not like terms. x squared is different from x, which is even different than having no variables. This becomes our solution. Let's try one more example using this distributive property. In this problem, we have a 4 in front of the parentheses. So we'll multiply that 4 onto each term. Remember, terms are separated by addition and subtraction. So 3ab is one term, 4 times 3 gives us 12 of these ab's. And then we need to multiply the 4 times the a. It will be important to remember that if there is no number written in front of a variable, we will assume the number 1 is in front. And a represents one single a. So 4 times positive 1 is positive 4, of these a's, and finally, 4 times negative 7b is negative 28b, and this will become our final solution. The distributive property, quite simply, requires us to multiply the front number by every term inside the parentheses.